Hi folks, G3 here. Welcome to another installment of my journey to go green. So Mrs. G3 and I are here in Thailand at the moment. We're here at the Rakbua Cafe, which is a lovely new venue. Let me um, spin around so you can have a look. So the little huts and lotus uh, flowers over the lakes and, and very nice. And it's by the Wat Luang Phua Tor. One of the things, one of the things that we we're concerned about when we were coming here was uh, a case of trying to be as sustainable as we could when it comes to food because we're aware that a lot of the vendors here have to uh, provide the food in the markets and stuff in in plastic bags because of because of the competition when people are earning 300 to 500 baht a day wage which is well, I think of the current exchange, it's about £7.50 in sterling. I'll, I'll put the details down below about um, dollars and, and the like. So they generally earn between about 300 to 500 a day. And so they don't have a huge amount of, of money. And the vendors that are in the markets have to um, try and produce their food as affordably as possible for people. And the easiest way they can do that is to do the pans of food, which they then will decant into a plastic bag for somebody to take home. It, it's the easiest way for them to do it. And when there's so many different vendors competing for these sales, they, they haven't got a, an opportunity particularly to be sustainably minded. It, it's all about um, surviving and making the most of the opportunity that they have and the limited resources. I mean, if somebody's only earning 300 baht for the day, they're, they're only going to be spending, I don't know, 50, 50 baht maybe? On their on their food, so it's going to be a meal of some rice and uh, an accompanying dish, and I mean they're looking for affordability. So the way that these tend to be uh, packaged, just in plastic bags with a elastic band around the top, easy to take home, and and it's perfectly perfectly understandable. But it does mean that there is an awful lot of plastic that's used here. Every meal that we have ordered, this is from the marketplace, has been within probably four or five plastic bags at least with carrying bags and often there'll be plastic implements which we've been able to decline because we've brought our bamboo set of cutlery with us. So we've been able to use those. But when it comes to containers for food, we, we largely have to go with, with what is being provided. We've got um, a couple of containers that we're now um, able to take with us and ask them to fill. But if you're going to a busy market, that's not always necessarily going to be straightforward for people to do. So it, it's quite a struggle. We're fortunate that we have sufficient money here to be able to afford to, to come to venues like this where they are able to serve it on crockery with cutlery. And I, I think any business here is really going really to struggle to compete unfortunately at the moment to, to be a sustainable business because the people here just can't afford it so we're trying to do our little bit but i think it's going to be a long time here before we see any real steps towards reducing the use of, of plastic and uh, i mean an example for the economy in general while we're here is that you don't generally get bins rubbish bins trash bins out and about uh, this stems from uh, issues with bombings in years gone by. Many years ago, there were some uh, bombs that were planted in rubbish bins. I think that was down um, to the south of the country. But generally, countrywide, you'll find uh, very few bins out and about. And so you don't generally get recycling bins either. Everything is just going in general rubbish where you're staying. It doesn't appear to be a huge amount of uh, recycling here either which would be a perfect opportunity. Because a number of people here don't have a huge income, they would be potentially more open to perhaps having a very small premium put on plastic and glass bottles and the like for them to be returned, a returnable deposit for people to claim that. Um, and I'm sure that would be extremely, extremely successful if that was here because there are a number of people that would be looking to exploit that to earn extra money and income because of the nature of, as to what they're earning at the moment so it would be extremely good to see those facilities in place here but otherwise at the moment it's it's difficult to see great advances here purely because people can't afford to do that they have to live within their means and, and that is 
that is how they are at the moment. The stall holders can't compete with other stall holders if they're gonna start using more sustainable options unless they are just as affordable as the plastic that they're um, getting at the moment. So one thing that we found when we have been out and about is that there are some people that are collecting things like the bottles and they collect them up and then they can take them to a recycling centre and they'll get a little bit of cash basically for taking this plastic in and then that will be recycled. So some people are doing that, they will collect the bottles and, and plastic and that sort of thing and get a little bit of cash back for it. So that's one thing that's working when it comes to a recycling point of view. I haven't really seen a huge amount otherwise. We have seen some recycling stations at, I think it was PTT service stations, but not really sure what they're doing with that. But we have passed a like a recycling facility where they pay people to bring this kind of thing together and then they will recycle that en masse. So that's what's happening here. At this, uh, we're at a pottery place at Dan Quian and uh, they're collecting it and they're going to be taking it and uh, getting a little bit of money for recycling it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did then please click the like button down below and leave your comments. Let me know um, what you think of uh, the recycling and the, um, the plastic use here in Thailand if you've been here. If you haven't done so already then please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you get notified when I load up a new video. Well thanks for watching folks. Until next time. Bye.